AP axial, which is the town. So I'm going to angle my tube 30 degrees. So you take 90 minus 30. Anybody? 70. No. <laughs> 60. 60. 90 minus 30. I was thinking 100. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for thinking. She didn't have her calculator with her. Okay. So this is the one that you want to start with the patient in a kind of lordotic position. So I want you to put the back of your neck in contact with this as much as you can. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So we want to have the, um, <laughs> the OML perpendicular if possible. So duck your chin down as far as you possibly can. We might even get a very small wedge like on the um, foot of the gurney. If you have these available, um, use that. If not, then even just a small washcloth that you kind of fold up. And that reminds, go ahead, reminds the patient to really keep that neck flexed as much as possible. For anything concerning the head, um, sinuses, facial bones, all of this, you're going to have to make sure that you get down on the patient's level. Because I'm going to have, just like measuring liquids in a measuring cup, you know, so you can really see the true line. Um, bring your chin down just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, just like that. We want the mid sagittal plane. So she actually is really good, just like that. And um, I'm going to enter, like I said, two and a half inches above the top of the glabella. So right here is going to be my entering point, which is just slightly into her hairline. It should pass through the EAM on each side. And um, make sure that your bucky is in alignment. How did I do that? Oh, lucky me. Um, <clears throat> so that you have that um, in alignment for your resultant image. Again, OML, perpendicular. We want mid sagittal plane, perpendicular. And um, 30 degrees angle caudally. Um, so the way that. Um, it has been remembered by patients or patients by students in the past this is it so you can relax oh, okay. is um, to remember that you angle down for the towns view is that you slow down to 30 degrees when you drive through town okay like the speed limit when you're going through a small town the limit drops down to 30 degrees. So you slow down to 30 degrees going through town to remember that that's associated with the town method. Now, um, there's not anyone in your class with the initials AP because we have had that before. And then we would add on to visit Audra Penzel or Angela Pearson mm -hmm. or, you know. Um, so if you want to just think of a, a way to remember AP, right? Because you're going to slow down through town to see Angela Pearson, because it's AP view. Another person. Is this is one person. that you can also do 37 degrees? If they yeah. cannot get there. Can you show that? that yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you wanted it just down. go so ahead and, and just put your um, to take back it. in the lordotic position, <laughs> duck your chin as much as you can. Um, but <laughs> now bring it up just a little bit. Right <laughs> there. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, so if they can't. Right. If they can't angle it down, the, then you go down to the 37 degrees. Seven degrees going again in two and a half inches above the glabellum. Mm -hmm. So either 60 or 50. Degrees. Correct. If it's, you know, you're starting at 90 degrees. If you're on the table, then it's going to be zero. So you just go 30 or 37. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to have you turn around and face the board for me. I'm going to reduce my angle to 15 degrees because we're going to go, oh well, 
and it, you know, it doesn't really matter. I did this for the purpose of the angulation. So now we can do the Caldwell. And so this is where you sort of switch your marker because now that she's PA, her right side is over here. And have to compensate. Put your <laughs> nose and forehead. <laughs> Nose and forehead. Caldwell is 15 degrees caudal. We're going to be exiting through the nasion, which is where the bridge of your glasses would be. And you can't go by the hair, okay? Because I'm going to ask you if there was anything on the back of the head yeah. to help you. No, you have to. You have to feel. And I have to look at her nose to make sure she's centered. Because this feels completely unnatural how you just position mm -hmm. me. And um, make sure that everything is straight. But until you put your hands, then you can't tell. Because hair can do all kinds of stuff. I feel cocked. <coughs> a little. That is a term. Tilted. Or that's more, that's better. Okay. <laughs> So we want the um, OML to be perpendicular, which she has accomplished this already. So you just look at that orbit till meatal line perpendicular to the IR. We're exiting through the nasion at a 15 degrees caudal I, that's angle. That's what I just don't understand how to tell. How do you tell if it's exiting well, because I'm following the, the path of that line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But here's the OML perpendicular, and here's the line of the centroid. Okay. To me, it looks like it needs to be higher. Is that because I'm not like this? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. Get down on the level of your patient so you can truly evaluate. Now, um, since I'm on this side, I'm going to switch to and do a left lateral. Nope. Left lateral? So you stay facing the IR. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's all right. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the orientation of my cassette to be crosswise. Now I'm going to have you put your left side right up against there. Sandra, can you raise the bucket yet for me to match that? Maybe. Don't lean up against it yet. There you go. All right. <clears throat> so this is where it's really important to tap into your inner photographer. Okay. So you're going to turn and put your left side of your face. And um, if I said, if you didn't know anything about this exam, and I said, okay. put the left side of your face up against there. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Because I know? Yeah. Well, a lot of times they'll try to put their chin, chin. too, yeah. so that they get oh, the whole face. Like this? Yes, like that. Right? But that's not what we're trying to accomplish, because we want that mid-sagittal plane to be parallel to the IR. We also want the interpupillary line to be perpendicular. So I can tell right now that her mid-sagittal plane is like this. So you did correct, but go back to where you were. So, I mean, just like, so like chin. Yeah. All right. So now I want you to bring your chin down a little bit and turn your nose out towards your shoulder just there. Okay. Now I want you to tilt your head this way. Perfect. There you go. And see, I'm getting her interpupillary mm -hmm. line, but I haven't had to touch her because I can give verbal cues. And now bring your chin and nose over. Right just like that okay now I want to this would be perfect if I was doing facial bones but since I'm doing skull I'm gonna bring you gently towards me all the way over. and then this has got to be two inches above the EAM and then I'd have to adjust my bucky up okay you're still good I'd move that up hold still but you have to get on the level of your patient to really truly evaluate that. I want to get down here and I want to be able to see up here. 
That's why it's important that they be either seated or laying down.